Dwayne here, phoenixtyperider.com. We're going to do something different today. We're going to look at this IBM Selectric 2. That, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, just uh, another video I posted just recently. I did this little hack where I split this belt in half with a razor blade. See, it's split in half, two pieces. And uh, showed how sometimes IBM Techs would do that out in the field. But we're going to replace this belt. See, it's two, two pieces. So I'm going to get it out of here. I already got the operational shaft out of here. And we can get this out pretty quick here. Just like there's one piece. There's two pieces. So this was this was one piece. And we split it in half because it has a stripped out cog on here. The cog here somewhere is gone. One of these cogs, there it is right there. <clears throat> so the, the theory is when it's stripped out the cog right there you would split the belt in half and rotate this part around and that way you got a bad portion over here and a bad portion over here and you can get by with that but we're going to replace it anyhow. <clears throat> that was the whole idea. The video today, though, is this hub here. It's got some hairline cracks in it, and it probably would need to be replaced soon. I'm going to do a hack. I'm going to fix it while it's in the machine. I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to melt this metal ring into this as a reinforcement. So I'm going to heat this thing up. I've never done this before. I'm going to heat this thing up and then stick it in here like this and melt it in there like that. And I've actually, well I've done that with the hub out of the machine but I've never done it with the hub in the machine. So that is going to be what we're going to try to do here on camera right now. And I think I've got to flip this machine on its side, which is going to be a little precarious in itself. But here we go. Okay. That's the idea right there. Okay. Let me get something to put under here. I think we got to just put this maybe right here or something. Let me try this. Oh, that's good enough. Okay, good enough. So now I can get to that, that hub. And I've already cleaned it really good and uh, it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try to do, is heat this ring up while it's hot, hot. Drop it in here like that and then I gotta press it in like this all right I think this is I'm gonna give this a try get this ring back out of here all right we're gonna give this a try see if I can save just a little bit of time and then uh, prevent that from uh, prevent that from uh, cracking any further so what I'm going to do is torch up here, we'll put this on camera too, that's kind of cool. So we'll fire this torch up. Camera if I'm not careful. Okay. Okay, I need a water bottle too ready because I need to cool it off. Good. Okay. Let's keep this ring up to a pretty hot temperature. Just got to rotate it around with the fire here like this. Get it evenly heated up. Just 
takes about 30 seconds or so. seconds to get things lined up. Alright, come on. Let's start changing color here a little bit. Here goes. Alright, I think we're close enough. songs on the radio. An overfed long head, leaping gnome. Oh yeah, spill the wine. I think we're done. Well, let's go ahead and put a belt on it on camera and see if this is gonna work. Alright, let me drop this back down. Alright. Can't play uh, music on the thing because I'll They'll ban my uh, video. The uh, copyright people will ban it, so I think I better turn this down a little bit. Alright, there she is. We've got a new belt here somewhere. Here we go. Let's just stick this on and see if this is going to work. got a winner. Awesome. I think we got it. So that's a new one for me. <coughs> Saves a little bit of time and going to save the customer a little bit of money on that one. Good job. One last thing I want to check when you have to do these these machines have to check this ledge right here of the uh, pulley this first part of plastic right there and you got to make sure the ring here still fits let me clean this thing up a little bit it's a mess thing up and we're going to stick it on there and make sure it's part of the when those pulleys start cracking that part will expand and then it will it would the circumference gets too big for this and it, it binds up so <clears throat> this is what we do we just stick this in like this Get some more light down here and make sure this ring it needs to go around that, that right there. Oh, it's tight, see? 
well, yeah, it's still, it's still too tight. It should be free. All right, let me show you what I do when that happens. Got a fix for that, too. That's a pretty cool little fix. I've been doing this a while, so you can use this just like a lathe. You turn it on, and you take a tool, like a exacto knife here, and you just run it on this piece of plastic and shave a, a little bit off. I don't know if you can see what's happening there, but it's shaving. A little bit of that down. that, blow off the pieces, turn it off, try it again. Okay, here's the ring. Get that back on there. Okay, see now it fits with just a little bit of play. It doesn't bind up like it was doing. And I think this is good to go. All I could do is stick the operational shaft back in here. Call this one good. Beautiful. All right, new belt, hub modified, modified twice. Dwayne here, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.